Welcome to the eClinicalWorks podcast. I'm your host, Brian Hughes. On today's podcast, we'll be discussing why staying up to date with the latest software is so important and to assist clinicians on when and where to use tools available to them at their disposal. Here with me today on the podcast to discuss more is eClinicalWorks' Marzia Fatima. Marzia, thank you for joining the podcast today. Thank you for having me, Brian. Now, Marzia, technology is always changing. And one way to stay up to date on an evolving landscape is through regularly scheduled system updates. Uh, why do technology companies find it so important for their consumers to stay up to date on the latest technology? We're not just documenting and getting paid anymore. Uh, we're interacting with the entire patient experience from wellness to chronic care and everything in between. Um, I believe staying up to date on the EHR means keeping pace with um, the changing technology, security, usability, bug fixes, um, enhancements, and so much more to support uh, better uh, taking care of our patients. Um, there's sometimes hesitation in adopting change to when it comes to updating your EMR, uh, but we're often so quick to update our smartphones when it comes to bug fixes, and it often changes user experience. Right, and like you said, eClinicalWorks is no exception. And eClinicalWorks has sure. recently made a new upgrade available to their customers, the version 11.52 series. Uh, in your opinion, from a clinician standpoint, what are a few highlights of this new version that clinicians can expect? Um, there are quite a few updates, um, but a few that I would like to highlight. Number one being uh, prescription workflow to improve patient safety and also to prepare for the NCPDP script standard that's um, going into effect September 1st of this year. Uh, we've also made some enhancements on um, drug to drug and drug to allergy interactions. Um, some enhancements on the patient safety dashboard where we've added up to almost 100 key performance indicators, um, such as overdue labs um, and failed e-prescriptions. Um, we have a brand new vision and vascular module now. We've also made some enhancements on the OB flow sheet. So there's a lot of new exciting things happening. Now, eClinicalWorks has a multitude of features that clinicians can take advantage of, depending on their preference on how they use the software. Uh, so much so that it can be easy to overlook some of the bread and butter features that made ECW so great over the years. Uh, would you be able to give some examples um, of those occasionally overlooked features? Definitely. Um, one feature that comes to mind, Brian, um, I think is overlooked are immunization templates and flu clinic features. Um, it's really helpful, especially during the pandemic, if the practices are administering COVID vaccines. Um, this feature not only helps with the faster documentation, uh, but it also helps you um, keep track of the inventory. Um, another one I would like to highlight is voice recognition. It has gotten even better. Um, so Scribe can really help you dictate your notes faster, regardless of what device you're using, uh, be it eClinical Mobile, eClinical Touch, or your eClinical Works on the computer. And that's some great advice. And you know, coming back to you know the version 11.52 series that we mentioned a little earlier uh, that eClinical Works has rolled out. Um, if I were a customer thinking about or have already upgraded to the version 11.52 series. Uh, where can I go to get more information regarding that update? The best resources are eClinicalWorks portal and um, eClinicalWorks University. Customers can attend live webinars here um, that we do on various different topics, um, but we also have a um, webinar going on specially for V11.52 series where we talk about the new updates, features, and enhancements. Um, customers can also refer to release notes um, on support portal. And I also wanna highlight um, the new company-wide initiative called Regional Chapter Events. Um, that is something I would highly recommend the practices to participate in. But you know, if I didn't necessarily have the time or the resources to you know, stay up to date um, on all those new features and enhancements, um, but wanted someone to kind of help me along the way um, and examine what I do as a practice uh, to see how 11.52 series works for me, who, who can I reach out to at eClinicalWorks? To help the practices, we have something called eClinicalWorks Optimization Services, uh, where a business analyst looks at your current setup and workflow and gives a customized plan for the practice. Um, it really helps the practice to streamline the workflows, um, enhance the use of the eClinicalWorks at the practice, and also help reduce physician burnout. Well, that's great. eClinicalWorks is there to help me if, if I need that help or that assistance in staying up to date. Mm -hmm. Well, Marzia, thank you for joining the podcast today. Thank you, Brian. It was a pleasure. 
And thank you uh, for listening to our podcast. You can find more podcasts like these on YouTube, My.EclinicalWorks, iTunes, or on our website, eclinicalworks.com. On behalf of the podcast team, thank you for coming today.